Hello, happy day 16 of Vlogmas. We're gonna do something a little bit different today and we are going to pull all of this yarn out of this cubby and talk through it all and squish it. Why not? As you're watching this, I am likely on an airplane on my way back home from my fabulous vacation that I will most definitely talk to you about soon. Alrighty, so I decided, or I asked on Instagram who would be interested in seeing a stash dive or kind of what is up here in my stash. And in all honesty, now that I've pulled it all out on the floor around me, um, I kind of forgot about some things. So this, this is going to probably be good for me as well. Um, but I did empty out my cubby full of sweater yarn um, or sweater quantities of yarn. I have a lot of sweaters to knit y'all, um, but I thought I would go through it. Um, I'll definitely talk about who the dyers are and kind of what I had planned if I have specific plans in mind for any of these. I don't really, I have a few sweaters and tops in my queue and in my favorites and things that I purchased patterns for, but I don't have any solid set plans. Um, so let's just look at what we've got first. These skeins I believe came from Vogue Knitting Live in New York in 2020 before the pandemic hit. Um, but I grabbed some Madeline Tosh and I think I got these from Stephen B. Um, so this is Mad Tosh Mars Rover. Um, and it's not coming across quite as pink in real life or on camera as it is in real life. Um, and I also got these on the Tosh Merino Light and Copper base, which is a 90% Merino wool, 8% acrylic, 2% gold Stellina. And it is a fingering weight. So I grabbed three of these. And then this skein of Boom Slang, which is this really pretty deep green to kind of go with it. So you can see this Mars Rover has some speckles of green, so I thought that would look really nice as the contrast color and maybe a yoke or something like that. So I've got that from, again, VKL New York, I think, 2020. Um, I popped in the Chili Knits booth while I was at VKL and picked up three skeins of this glitter sock, and it is Cormenaire. Maybe I think is the colorway. It's just this really gorgeous kind of deep plummy burgundy. And again, I was really into the Stellina apparently. <laughs> like everything at VKL was glittery and bright and I wanted all of it. Um, but this is a 75 Superwash Merino, 20% nylon, 5% silver Stellina. And it is a, it says four ply. It is a two ply base, but maybe that just means it's a fingering weight and not a DK. So I grabbed three of those to make a top with. Probably something short sleeved. I also grabbed a skein of Summer, uh, also from Chili Knits on their glitter sock base. And I grabbed a mini skein set. This isn't necessarily sweater, but it is a so or it is a yarn kit that I picked up for specific reasons. So this is going to end up being something together. I just don't know what. I had ideas to do a is it a meandering shawl by Stephen West? I believe Chili Knits had. I think she had a sample up in her booth of a me me meandering shawl that she had done with like her neon minis and just it was super colorful and it was gorgeous and so that's where that came the inspiration came from i don't remember where i got this i might have ordered these online from madeline tosh uh these are the night king and i got these quite a while ago this is their And I want to say this was before Madeline Tosh was sold. So like I've had these for quite a while. This is their TML Lights, 
which is a 90% merino, 8% acrylic, 2% selena again, but this is a single ply instead of, oh wait, I guess this was single ply as well. So yeah, I don't really know the difference. Um, the copper is, well, it's more of a coppery Stellina. It's not even gold Stellina. It's very coppery colored. And I think they discontinued that base. This one looks like blue and red and green flecks of Stellina in there. It's not picking up on camera at all, but yeah, very pretty. Again, another random top. I don't know what. Those are all single ply bases, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I have four skeins up here in my cubby. Uh, this is actually a project that I have on the go. This is my um, Wildwood sweater. So I have four more skeins of Careless Whisper on Magpie Fiber Swanky DK. And again, it is a project I've been working on. Um, I'm through the yoke and on the body at this point. So these are just sitting and waiting for when I need to cake up another skein. I also ordered one of their mystery grab bags from them a while back. I think it was sometime this year. Um, this is their swanky sock and it was a three pack. And these are all one of a kind colorways. So I don't, I mean, yeah, these probably won't be dyed again, obviously, but these are the three that they sent in the kit and I love them. I couldn't have picked them out better myself. The colors are gorgeous. So this is definitely going to be some sort of three skein shawl, maybe. I have three skeins of uh, Rose Hill yarns on their DK weight, and this is barn wood. I don't know if this will be enough for a top, but I thought they were stunning and I couldn't resist picking some up. So maybe with something else as a contrast, those would work, but look how beautiful those are. I love Rose Hill yarns. This is an 85 Superwash Merino, 15% Donegal. My feet were falling asleep because I was sitting on my knees. Um, so I adjusted the camera a bit and sat down on the floor. I apparently also hoard sweater quantities of Lofty Loops yarns, which I know is bad practice when you're a business owner. And honestly, I might reevaluate some of these and actually add them to the shop because I don't need them. I don't need to hoard them. And if I end up wanting to do a sweater with them at some point, I can just dye more. Um, but one set in particular I loved from, I think this was last year's advent calendar. This is a colorway that has been in the shop a few times. This is Blue Blood. And I just loved the colors in here and thought that they would make a fantastic top to go with jeans or whatever. So I have four skeins of Blue Blood on Lofty DK and I think I was going to do the vintage, vintage something, vintage top with these. So TBD if I keep those. I also have three skeins of Yennefer which is another Lofty Loops colorway. This is on Posh DK. Again, I'm hoarding. I'm hoarding my own yarn. But the blues and purples and the grays, I couldn't resist. It would make another beautiful top. And so that is potentially going to be something. Maybe it'll end up back in the shop at some point. Who knows? More Lofty Loops yarn. Four skeins on my Lofty Sock base, and these are unnamed and just one of a kinds. They look very similar, very, very similar to kind of the feel of Yennefer and Blue Blood. So that's why I'm thinking now that I see them all laying together, I don't need all of these. But I love these. I wish I, I, wish I had written this down because they're stunning. I may 
see if I can recreate these in the new year or something similar because they're beautiful. These will not go in the shop. I am keeping those. They also have two skeins of Forager that were stuck up in there on Lofty Sock. Again, I don't need these. I don't know why I kept them. These will likely go into the shop. I'm going to set them aside. I also have two skeins of one of my mystery yarn clubs. This was quite a while ago. Um, I don't even have bands on them, but this is my Lofty Pure base. And I think I had intended to make a shawl or something with them. But they may end up back in the shop as like a one of a kind because I honestly, I don't even know if I remember what month they're from or if I named them or what the deal is. But while they are gorgeous, I probably won't get around to knitting a shawl with these. Brandy of Long Dog Yarn had, um, well she's always having fabulous shop updates and collection releases and one of her ones earlier this year was the princess bride and so i ended up ordering a sweater quantity of the cliffs of insanity from her and these are on her merino fingering so it's 100 percent superwash merino and it's a fingering weight base so i thought those would make a gorgeous top as well i'm thinking maybe another pavement really beautiful. I want to say, and maybe it's in with my sock yarn, but I know I got other skeins from Brandy at the same time and I wonder if I did intend on using one of those skeins as like a contrast for a maybe a colorwork yoke or something. So this is why it's so important for me to go back through and dig things out and like set them aside and group them up for projects because I will stick them up here and never remember. I hit up a um, a D stash earlier in the year, uh, actually not that long ago as I was knitting the alley sweater, um, but someone was getting rid of three skeins of fresh balsam from um, Explorer Knits and this is on their Rockies DK base and I thought they were beautiful and yes so i grabbed them i don't know what they'll be but i'm happy to have them so those are up there as well and then i also found a d stash someone had a couple skeins of skyfall from treehouse knits and i thought those colors were also stunning i was very much in the alley sweater mode um which i did test knit and they have a top as well that I would love to knit. Um, but I really like how these variegated colors end up working up in the color work yoke. And so that's kind of what my intention was when I purchased these was something along those lines and having those be the contrast color and some color work. I also had a random skein of ectoplasm, which was a uh, Halloween colorway. It was also the mystery Halloween Halloween mystery kit from last year. Um, I have no idea why I saved a skein of this. I think I saved myself a kit um, and ended up using the other color. So this was just stuck up there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. The skein looks a little rough. I might need to uh, might need to wind that up, but maybe I'll pop this back in the shop. I can't see myself ever knitting with a random skein of neon green sock yarn. Especially since I used the other half of the duo. <laughs> and then another unnamed skein of yarn that was sitting up in there. I don't know where this came from or when I dyed it, um, but it is it's just on Lofty DK. It looks very similar to my Pebbles colorway that I've dyed up recently for my Autumnal Tonal collection. Um, but yeah, it was sitting up in there. Maybe, I don't know, contrast color? No, probably not enough contrast. I don't know. I don't know why it's up there, but maybe I'll find a use for it. So yeah, that was fun. Um, that's all my... I lie. 
I think I shared these fairly recently on a studio vlog, um, but they're all inside this bag um, because they wouldn't fit in my cubby. But I ordered a couple sweater quantities from the Camel's Yarn ooh, quite a while ago. I won't be able to hold all of these up. But I'll hold a couple. Um, this was from, oh, I'm never going to remember what collection it was. But this is her Wilted Blooms colorway on her Merino DK, which is 100% Superwash Merino. And I got five skeins of this on DK. And it is so squishy. I don't know where she gets her bases, but this is just 100% Superwash Merino and it is the squishiest, softest thing I've ever felt. There's got to be some, like, glorious place over in the UK. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to work those up. And then I got four skeins of... I think this is mushroom? Oyster mushroom on her standard sock, which is a four-ply fingering weight. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. So I've got, got four of these. I'm just wondering... No, they're a bit more tan and brown, whereas the long dog yarn is more bluish gray. So yeah, I thought those were beautiful too. So those will all become a top at some point. So not too shabby. As I'm sitting here looking, um, I mean, I do have maybe five to six sweaters that I'd like to knit. I have a few skeins that I'm going to pop into the shop. Maybe a couple that'll end up in a D stash because they're just not my jam anymore. Um, I've had them for quite a while, especially some of the maybe the Madeline Tosh. I I don't know. I do love these. I just don't know what they'll be. I have. I have a hoarding problem. Um, I have a really hard time de-stashing things because I'm the type of person where if I purchase something or I get something, all of a sudden it has memories tied to it and I have a really hard time letting those go. And so, for example, those Mad Tosh skeins, well, I don't know what I would actually knit with them or if I'd ever actually use them. I know that I got them at Vogue Knitting Live in New York City, which was one of the best trips I've ever been on in my life. Um, and all of the memories that come along with that and so I want to keep them as souvenirs but I don't know what I'd make. Is anyone else like that? Um, yeah I know it's super hoarder mentality and I'm like that with other things around my home too. I have a really hard time throwing things out or donating them or selling them or whatever if they have sentimental value um, and I think that probably comes from uh, my parents passing away when I was really young. And so when I moved out, I got a lot of my family furniture from home. Um, and I don't have any of that anymore. I think over the years we've moved and our kids are grown and, you know, just we've acquired new things and purchased new things and made them our own. But it's really hard to either get rid of them, donate them, sell them off um, because they were, you know, they were from my, my family home growing up and my parents are gone. So it was like I had that emotional attachment. Um, so I feel that way with a lot of my yarn stash. <laughs> and there's so much more that I could go through and maybe I'll do this in uh, a few more days of Vlogmas or maybe I'll do some studio vlogs for the new year. But if you enjoyed this type of content, let me know in the comments below. Um, because I definitely have more cubbies that I could go through and I would be happy to do so. I'm going to go open up, um, some admins and then get back to some knitting. And that was my sweater cubby. <laughs> Nothing 
for you I'm out on a last minute spree Hoping to find that something that makes you Forsaken more What in the 